After taking a loss back in week one, the Rio Grande City football team has now won three straight games. They find themselves tied atop District 31-5A. One of the big reasons for the win streak, how about an opportunistic defense that is leading in takeaways and in defensive touchdowns. There's real safety J.D. Garza. He ran back that interception for a touchdown against Valley View. That was two weeks ago. Last week, same player, same result. J.D. Garza, pick six taking it all the way back to the house. Back-to-back -back games with pick six is very symbolic of this strong defensive secondary for the Rattlers. You see that ball flying around every Friday night, uh, but I like the fact that our kids are seasoned, but I think the strength of our group would be our, our linebackers and our secondary. Uh, we've got all of them back, and again, they've worked their butts off, and they're very familiar with the defense, and it's just a matter of just playing. Rio Grande City is involved in week five, which is rivalry week in the RGV. Roma at Rio Grande City, the Star County Super Bowl, La Jolla at Mission, Hannah at Rivera, the Bird Bowl, Harlingen South at Harlingen, Tanaco Bowl, Wesco East at Wesico, Battle of Southmost, Lopez at Porter, and Battle of 506, Santa Rosa at La Feria, all coming your way. The new uh, changes in what's happening with Mission and their Tom Landry Stadium still under renovation, so both Mission's Eagles and Mission Veterans Patriots will play their games at Tigers Stadium, Valley View High School in FAR. La Jolla will meet Mission 7 o'clock on Thursday. Laredo Cigarroa will play the Patriots 7.30 on Friday. And the AP coming out, or the Texas High School Coaches Association coming out with their latest football polls done by region. San Benito stays put at number 8 in 6A. Mission Veterans up 2 from 10 to 8 in Class 5A. And Rio Hondo up 2 from 9 in Class 4A Division 2. Port Isabel stays at 9.